John, your 44th season as a footballer, yeah. or in football, not as a footballer, but in football, still getting the same buzz now as you did back then? Probably more so, I think. Um, yeah, it was. I, I, obviously, I can remember actually, that first pre-season. Uh, I was, I just left school, so I was like a schoolboy at the time, but um, uh, yeah, it's been uh, been a lot of years since then, a lot of hard pre-seasons, and uh, obviously in the management side, uh, it's not quite the same buzz as, as a player, but um, without any question, this year has, has been a very tough summer for me uh, with regard in recruitment, uh, trying to get my squad together. It's not been easy, but uh, I've really enjoyed it. I have to be, have to be honest, and I'm, uh, I'm probably more excited now than I was six weeks ago. Um, and with the build-up coming and uh, and the Barnsley game uh, just 48 hours away, I'm. Uh, I'm really excited about taking my team up there uh, and we're in a pretty confident mood, everybody. If you'd been offered the squad you've got at the end of yep. last season, when you knew you had to do all that recruitment, would you have been happy? <laughs> I'd be, I'd be delighted, yeah. Um, there was times, I have to say, in the, in the first couple of weeks when the season finished, when I, when I kind of realised that obviously it didn't have quite the same uh, spending power and boys were, <coughs> were on, that were on good contracts with me uh, I knew it was going to be difficult for them to re-sign for less money, which is what I offered everybody. You know, uh, the players that we did offer new deals to, it was it was much less money than they were earning last year. So I knew that was going to be hard for them to to re-sign. There was always the opportunity for them to go elsewhere and, and probably get the same money that they were earning last year. So I kind of uh, once or twice I did. Uh, sit there scratching my head thinking this is going to be so hard you know to recruit players throughout the summer but um, slowly but surely we we got on with the job and uh, uh, I've often said you know with, with Michael Dunford helping me on the administration side of things we were able to uh, go on a recruitment program uh, and, and really bring in some real top quality signings um, I've been delighted with the, with the boys that have joined us I've been even more delighted once I've got them here training and uh, their, their enthusiasm uh, to want to uh, uh, be part of, of the next stage of in Crawley's history uh, has, has been brilliant you know and uh, their work rate has been fantastic uh, Niall Clark and Paul Groves who, who work obviously with the players they've been brilliant as well and, and as a group I think um, We've it, we've come together very well. We've gelled together. You know, people said this about it, it's going to take time to gel. Well, I think we gel pretty quickly uh, as a squad, and that's a, a testament really down to the likes of Niall and and Paul uh, and Luigi, of course, the physio. We're a, we're a small little bunch, um, and the players themselves have just got on with it. And uh, as I said uh, that first week when we come back, it was like first day at school. Everyone walked in the room, and it was it was so quiet in the dressing room. Uh, but that didn't last long. Footballers being footballers, they adapt to each other very quickly. And um, we find ourselves now with uh, Barnsley coming up and we go there full of hope and enthusiasm. And um, tough start, obviously, against a relegated side, but a good game to begin with, really, because I don't imagine outside of Crawley there'll be too many people thinking we can go there and get a result. No, I think, uh, <clears throat> you know, I've spoke to quite a few of the players and uh, the players are, are very confident uh, in as much as... People are writing us, writing us off. Um, they, they, you know, we're in the in the betting stakes and so on and so forth. We're not really been mentioned, which is fine by us. It's really part of Crawley's history, I think, to have always been the underdog and and to have come out on top on many occasions. So, uh, yeah, I, I think just outside of Crawley, I don't suppose anyone's really expecting us to to threaten the uh, the top six positions. But um, you know, I've gone down on record that anything. Less than eighth to me this season will be a failure. Um, I feel I've got a good squad. I feel that we know this division very well and uh, we're, we're a good team at home. We, we proved that last season uh, on many occasions. Um, and away from home, you know, Richie had a, Richie had a good start last year. Uh, we had a, an amazing result up at Peterborough. I remember, I think Peterborough won the first six or seven games, yeah, maybe. Right. And we went there and won two, two zip and... Um, you know, we uh, we look at the, our forthcoming fixtures, and uh, you know we're in a pretty good place to be. I think physically, mentally, we've got a, a tough squad, and uh, we know it's going to be exceptionally difficult. But Barnsley is a tough place to go on your first uh, 
first game of the season and especially as them coming just out of the championship I know what it's like to play at Barnsley I've took teams there uh, as a manager as well and it's not an easy place to, to get points but uh, we'll go in there hoping that we can get the right result In terms of the squad you had one or two injuries what's, what's the latest with guys like Gavin Tomlin has he got a chance of being involved? Gavin's in fit yeah he's fit He's. Uh, it wasn't as bad as we first thought um, the alarm bells went out last Saturday when, when he went down and uh, we thought he'd done something fairly serious that we might lose him for three or four weeks but uh, no he's fine uh, he's training this morning so he's obviously in contention for a start on Saturday but uh, other than that is only Matty Harold who uh, should be back hopefully uh, within a fortnight he, he should be back in the starting lineup ready to go again so at the moment all things are looking good can't wait to get started